R68 and it's a nearly 12 volt so you can consider it's a 12 volt on both sides. Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is a EVGA 980Ti uh, graphics card which is working perfectly okay. I'm just checking the voltage and power supply how it's dividing the powers. So it will be helpful for faulty cards to know where the right voltage is. So we turn on the power supply and we check the voltage the voltage you can see here in the uh, multimeter that's on the ground and we first of all check we start from uh, here it's r68 and it's a nearly 12 volts so you can consider it's a 12 volt on both sides this is another R68, 12 volt again, and 12 volt. Now, this is one R0. We test it here, which is uh, 12 volt, and 12 volt. next is for RAM I think this is VRAM for so we're gonna check it it's showing 0.85 volts and on the other one is showing 1.2 something it's very okay on the other side is 1.79 1.35 or something and same here is 1.78 so basically one point seven eight one point seven eight on the both uh, these sides you can consider like left side and on the right side the upper one is showing one point 1.3 and the lower one is showing 1.456 it's changing the numbers as you can see and these ones the volts are 0 0.66 and 7 0.69 here is 1.03 I think these are for the RAMs as well I'm not sure what and uh, again the 1.03 1.03 1 1.03 so basically 1 2 3 4 they are 1.03 and these upper ones showing 0.65 volt and 0.69 volt <clears throat> on the other side is 1 1.03 1.03 1.03 1.03 1.03 and 1.03 so basically we're getting the information uh, which will be helpful for the faulty card uh, to diagnose uh, how many voltage are coming to the faulty card because this is absolutely 100% working card 980 Ti on EVGA and Let's check another thing. This is one R zero again. Uh, we we'll try from left side, showing one point twenty volts, like one point twenty, and on the other side, 
0 0.3 0 0.4 yeah very uh, 0 0.4 you can consider <coughs> and sorry The next point, these fuses, I think these are fuses, this is uh, 12 volts on both sides, 12 volts on both sides, 12 volts on both sides, basically, uh, basically these are the fuses I think, uh, the numbers are R005 or something or R005 yes yeah, something like this and to check the voltage here we can see here is showing actually nothing zero zero so these are possibility these are the main points to test actually to get the voltage here is a 5.74 and vary to 4.2 4.50 Now these two are showing almost similar 0 0.93, 0 0.99 and input voltage I think that could be the input voltage if I'm not wrong so 1.78 so 1.78 was actually these two and all these big ones they have 1.03 all in and these upper ones 0 0.5 0 0.7 1.02 volts and all these are 1.02 And if we see again here any changes, it comes like as you can see uh, 0 0.67 and 1.19 or 1.20. Let me check the 40 ones uh, in front of you so you can consider what could be the difference. Okay, that's the working one which I check out. And that's the same one which I was showing in the previously. Uh, it goes black in Windows uh, driver showing the display but as soon as it install the drivers then goes blank. So let me check the voltage on these ones. we turn on the power supply it's on and we need to put the heat sink on temporarily check the voltage start from here it's R68 which is showing 12 volts 
and 12 volts 12 volts again the 12 volts are the same and that's 5.75 here is 3.84 and 1R0 is the number on this part number which is uh, on this part so we got 12 volts here upper side is 12 volts as well now this is the part we're gonna check it it's 1R0 again that's a small one it's getting 0 0.74 and on the other side is 1.19 now we see these things top one is showing 0 0.65 0 0.82 four five six okay that's for GPU I think it's 1.03 1.03 1.03 and 1.03 then we see the in on the left side the voltage is 1.03 one sorry 1.03 so 1.03, 1.03, and 1.03 on this side. Consider that that's the left side of the card, for example. So 1.03 is input, and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, they are same voltage, 1.03, but these two are showing 0.64 and it's nearly 0 0.77 now <clears throat> so we calculate what is the difference in between this card and that card because that card is perfectly okay that just checked it uh, that works in work work like perfectly very good there is no problem with that card which is uh, just check before this one so this card is actually a problem with the drivers I don't know why the drive as soon as we install the drivers then it goes blank so let me calculate and uh, we make another part uh, for the video it's gonna be part 3 see you in the next video thank you very much thanks for watching Universal Information and Entertainment TV Please like and subscribe our channel for more updated videos, news, information and entertainment, see you in next video. Stay tuned.